Hey there, welcome to my channel. Um, if, if you are subscribed to me, uh, long time no see. I apologize for that. I actually don't know how long it's been since I posted a video, probably a year, maybe more. I feel like it's been that long. I don't know. It's been a very long time and I just have not really been in a place to be filming makeup videos. Not necessarily mentally, but mostly just my house has been a wreck for a very long time and it feels like as soon as I get it clean, it's a wreck again. So I've just been dealing with life things. Uh, but today I'm going to do a shop my stash. Shop my stash. Sorry. Uh, I might stumble over my words a bit. Uh, oh, you can see me in my uh, kabooty. Ka see, I cannot speak today. My caboodle mirror which is very dirty. Apologies. Uh, right now I have you in front of where I keep my everyday makeup. I just keep this caboodle um, opened on my vanity and I just obviously it's like it's a mess. It's a mess. It just that's what happens. Um, but this is where I keep all of the makeup that I reach for every time I do my makeup for the most part uh, which you know to be fair, is really not that often, but I'm hoping to, I'm always hoping to do my makeup more, but I'm really, really hoping to do my makeup more in the next six months because of things, and I need to start getting through some makeup. So I'm going to show you what I have in here, and then I'm going to go over to my drawers over here, and we're going to pull some new items for the winter. And I think that's how I'm going to do it, or maybe monthly, I don't know. Uh, possibly. We're going to pull stuff for December. Okay, I'm going to stop babbling now and show you what's in here. So uh, I'm going to try and show you the things that are not going to change. So I have this e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel. That's not going to change. I just want to get through it. It's really not my favorite, but it's usable, so I don't want to waste it. Um... This is the brow pencil I'm using right now. This is the Makeup Revolution uh, Ultra Brow Arc and Shape. I don't know if you can even see that. No, focused? Focused? Possibly. Um, but again, this is another thing that's not my favorite, but I just want to use it up. It's not bad, so I might as well get it gone. Um... These two eyeliners are going to be staying in here. This one is the Kat Von D um, ink liner in Trooper. It's not focusing. I'll just keep things back here. This is just the Kat Von D liquid liner. Um, I don't do liquid liner all that often, but it's here to try and remind me to use it more because I do want to use this up. Actually, this is a nice liner, but it's not my favorite. Um, I have some um, drugstore ones that I like a lot more, so I'm attempting to use that up, but no idea how long it's going to take. Um, this other one is a CoverGirl um, black eyeliner in black onyx. This is super, super old. Like, an embarrassing amount of aging <laughs> is on this bad boy. Um, but again, I just don't use black eyeliner all that much. But I would really like to get this used up. And there's no way for me to know how much is in here, which is annoying. Because once you click it up, you can't click it back down. I'm going to try and remember to keep everything over here. Um, so that's frustrating, but, you know, it's a bazillion years old, so how much more could there be, right? Um, these are both going to stay in here. Again, things I want to use up. I won't be doing any project pans um, in the foreseeable future, just because I failed so bad <laughs> at project pan, and I feel like the way I'm going to be doing my shop, my stash is going to kind of have some project pan elements in it, but it's going to be far more successful for me. So 
Uh, this right here is the Rimmel Scandalize, what is this, eyeshadow stick. I use this as an inner corner highlight on occasion. Um, I would just like to try and work through that. This is the Buxom, uh, these things are so old. This is why I really want to get through them. This is the True Nude Lip Foundation in Naked, it's a lip primer. I don't ever really find myself needing a lip primer, but for some reason when I bought this, this was like when makeup, this is very old, um, maybe I shouldn't even say, <laughs> this is like when makeup YouTube really started like kicking off and becoming super popular. And I don't know why I just felt like I needed this. I honestly don't know why, but I have it, so I might as well use it. It hasn't gone bad. It's still fine. So, uh, let's see. This is going to stay in here. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Foundation Stick. I really am not a big fan of this. I bought it because I wanted to try stick foundations, and I found it on clearance, and I was like, oh, well, sure, I'll try it. It's in a good shade for me, but I don't, I've always heard that stick foundations are good for people with dry skin. I do not see how. I have like five different stick foundations or something like that, and they're all drying. Like, I don't see how they could be for somebody with dry skin, maybe somebody with oily skin, because when my skin is like crazy, crazy hydrated, this doesn't look too bad. But I don't know, maybe it's just not a good formula in general. But I can get away with it by, so what I do is I use a hydrating primer, and then I smear this all over my face. I um, blend it out with a brush, and then I take my beauty sponge and I put some um, of this pretty, fi pretty fresh hyaluronic concealer from ColourPop, put it on my beauty sponge, and I pounce it on my face to kind of like smooth and blend everything out. And that combo works okay. It, this, doing the concealer thing on top of this is really the only way I can get this to work. And I'm too stubborn to give up on it because I can make it work. So this is just going to stay in here until it's gone. But that's all I have left. Like I've that amount that you see rolled up, that's rolled all the way up. So that's all I have left in this, which is super awesome. I don't think it'll take me too much longer to use this up. If I do my makeup a considerable considerable amount of times in December, like I'm planning to, I should be able to have this done by the end of the month, which is super awesome. And then this is going to stay in here um, because I use it with that foundation, and then I also use it as my concealer. I'm, I'm not trying to use this up. I just... I might as well use that as my concealer too if I'm using it in conjunction with that foundation. Um, let's see, is there anything else that's going to stay in here? Yes. This is the LA Colors Glow Now Skin Illuminator. This is a liquid highlight. It's not my favorite, um, but I really don't think I have too much left in here. I don't know. I probably have a lot more than I think because it I, I can't see through the packaging. It's super opaque. Even if I put it up to a super bright light, can't see through it. So I have no idea how much is left in here. But I can use it again, so I'm going to try and use it up. Um, I use it mostly as a body highlight. Um, some, If I remember to, I put it on before I put my foundation on. Um, like in the spots where I would highlight on my face. Um, it's just very frosty. It's not, it's not my fave. It does not go well over foundation. Um, so, I don't know, this might take me a very long time, but I, that's going to stay in there until it's gone, because it, I just want it gone. Let's see. Anything else going to stay in here? I'm going to keep this in here, because I really should use it up. This is the NYX, uh... I don't know. It's the NYX liquid glitter in the shade Crystal Jade. I used up a gold one of this, and the way I used it up was I put the glitter in my eyebrows. So I had glitter eyebrows, which I actually really liked. But the blue doesn't quite give the same effect as the gold did. It's not quite as sparkly and glitzy. Um, but I can use it the same way. And, like, you can see a ton of windowing in here. There's not too much left in here, and it's probably mostly drying up. But I keep forgetting to use it. But now that it's December and I'm probably going to be doing more like wintry looks, I think I'll be able to get away with the blue a little bit more. Um, in the fall, 
I really didn't feel like I could so much. I think that's probably why I just fell to the back and I forgot about it because there was no point for me. Let's see. My setting spray is going to stay in here till it's gone. It's a mini. There's, mm, there's maybe like two thirds left in here. This is the Hard Candy Longwear Sheer Envy Setting Spray. Um, I have a habit of, so at Walmart, Hard Candy, almost ev pretty much every year. I haven't seen any out this year, but it's still kind of early. Um, Hard Candy brings out like mini makeup and stuff like that. It's always different every year usually. But uh, last year or the year before, they came out with a whole bunch of different setting sprays and primers, like minis of them. And I, they're only a dollar. So whenever they sell the minis in the, they sell it in like the stocking stuffer section at Walmart. They're always a dollar and I always get suckered into them. But the quality of the product is nice. So I think that's why I always get suckered in. It's not like I'm buying it for the sake of it, like being cheap makeup. It's cheap and it's good. So... Yeah. Anyway, there's probably going to be a lot of tangents in here. I'm sorry. This is probably going to be a very long video because I'm not used to filming these types of videos anymore, but that's going to stay in there because when I use setting sprays, I really don't feel the need to like rotate through them. Do you know what I mean? Like I just use one till it's gone and then I go on to another one, which means that I have way too many setting sprays. Like I don't need as many as I have, so I need to cool it. Another thing that's going to stay in here is my primer, which is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Sheer uh, Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I really like this uh, setting spray, but this one is pretty old. It still has like half half of it in there, maybe. Oh no, no, no. That's probably got about a quarter left. It's down. It's down to right here. Um, it's down to about there. So this shouldn't take you too much longer to use up. Maybe, maybe it'll be gone by the end of the month. We'll see. But I also have a mini of this one um, that's not opened yet. So I want to use this up. Anything else going to stay in here? Mm. I think everything else is going to get the boot. So, actually no, this is going to stay in here. This is my Lime Crime Freckle Pen. I don't, it's in the shade Amber. I don't use it too often. It's not my favorite. It doesn't really go over, I don't know. It's okay. It's not bad. There are some other ones that I would like to try, but this is just the one I really wanted to try a freckle pen. And this is just the one I decided to buy first. Um, but I would like to keep using it because I do like the effect. I'm not sure. I'm sold on the color. I don't know if the color is great for me, but I do like the product and it's going to just stay in here so I remember to use it. I'm not trying to use it up necessarily. I just want to remember to use it. Okay. Uh, everything else is going to be put away. These are the ColourPop uh, Powerpuff Girls like color sticks. They're kind of like a stick shadow slash uh, eyeliner type of situation. Um, I think it's time to put these away. I don't really see myself using these too much. I mean, maybe not really the pink one. Well, it's more like a red, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of more reddish. Now that I'm thinking about it, these probably would all be good colors for the winter. I don't know. Should I keep them in? You know what? Might as well. I'm going to do it. I'll just stay in. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, apparently I'm a liar. This is the Jessie's Girl Loose Shadow uh, Pure Pigment Eye Dust in Brown Sugar. No idea if this is even sold anymore. I got this in a Ipsy bag like a zillion years ago. Um, I used it a couple times and I'm ready to put it away now. I'm, there's no way I'm going to use that up. So there's no point. I got my use out of it. I'm good. Oh, I'm a liar again because I forgot about my mascaras back there. So I have the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. Um, not my favorite, but I have a ton of mascaras that I'm trying, like, I need to work through before I can start using my favorites again. Um, I did just recently 
call it quits on the ColourPop BFF mascara. I don't like that mascara. When I first got it and started using it, I thought I liked it, but very quickly it's just started and it's not dried up, so I don't understand, but it transfers like crazy. Like it smudges and it flakes even though it's like not dried up. I don't know. It's just not good. I don't like it. So I could not struggle through it any longer. So I called it quits on that. So I opened this one. Um, I don't mind this one. It doesn't smudge or flake. Um, and it, this is one of the ones I used to use in high school. Not this exact one. This is a new one. But um, so I have that. That's staying in. And then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Glitter Topper. So this is just a glitter mascara. And I'll be keeping that in as well. This is the Profusion Blush Palette, the six shade blush palette. Um, doesn't really have a name for the palette, but all the shades have names. And I've been using these blushes for the last two months, month or two. And I'm ready to put them away. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to put these glitters away. I don't even think I used them, but I definitely know I won't be using them in December. They're just not the types of colors that I would gravitate towards in December. But this is the Pixie Glittery Eye Quad in Rose Bronze. So that's going to be put away. These glitters are going to be put away. This is Profusion Topaz Gems 5 Shade Glitter Palette. Um, <clears throat> if you love glitter and you haven't tried these Profusion Glitter Palettes, these are so good. Um... I love, love, love these, but um, this one is more fall colors, so that's going to be put away. This is the Tarte Charmed Lip Surgeons. Lips, I think Charmed is the shade. But this is going to be put away too. I will put this with my blushes because I don't like this color on my lips, but it does make a nice cream blush, which is what I've been using it for. But... This is definitely not the type of color that I'm going to use in the winter. It's very like bubblegummy pink color. So definitely not going to get used out of that in the winter. So I'm going to put it away. Um, the bronzer I've been using is the LA Colors bronzer in the shade Beach Babe. And I do like this, but I'm going to put it away. I swear when like bronzers never move for me. Like it doesn't barely looks like I touched it. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm saying um a lot, just I'm not used to filming anymore. That's going to be put away because I just want to, you know, use a new one. Do, do, do. This is the LA Girl. I, this got lost in the shuffle of all the makeup in here. So I completely forgot about it. this is the LA Girl Hollow Glam glitter. And this is stinking gorgeous. Like it's like an iridescent but it's got like a bluey purple shift and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this in here because uh, apparently I'm a liar a lot and because it's perfect for winter you know I gotta keep it in here this is the Colourpop Super Shock shadow in frog this is probably my favorite Super Shock shadow this is the first Super Shock Shadow I've ever hit pan on, and I was, like, so surprised. I don't know. It didn't take me that long, but I've been using this as, like, a one-and-done eyeshadow. Um, I just smear this on my bare lid when I'm doing something very minimal and quick, and it has been incredible, but as much as I want to keep using this, I have hit pan on it, so I should probably try and get some use out of my other ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So I'm going to put this one away. I'm going to start putting these things back over here. <clears throat> I have this Color B Color Club liquid eyeshadow. Um, I've got these because I found them like super cheap on clearance at Walmart. Every single one that I bought, the little doe foot thing that comes with it, it broke off. So I took the stopper out of all of them, which definitely means that it's going to dry out quicker, but it seems to be doing okay for now. Um, but this 
is kind of like a like a goldy cranberry duochrome. I don't know if you can tell. It's really pretty. Um, I think I might keep this in because I feel like that is like a good holiday color. And if I sheer it out, I could even use it as um, a highlight. I think like if I really sheared it out, I might be able to use it as a highlight or like a super shimmery blush topper or something. So I'm maybe I'll keep that in. This is my ColourPop Super Shock highlight in Stole the Show. Uh, I really love this. This is super beautiful. Uh, it probably wouldn't take me too long to hit pan on this if I kept going at it, but um, I think I'm going to switch it out. My Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Dust. Um, very pretty, but again, I am ready to put that away and try something different. This e.l.f. liquid shadow uh, is the Molten Liquid Shadow in the shade Liquid Gold. Uh, I didn't use this once since putting it in here, so I'm going to put it away. Maybe pick something else. We'll see. Is there anything else in here? This is my Trolls Hard Candy Prismatic Illuminizer. This is... A highlight um, when you swirl it all together it's um, it's more of like a like a goldeny kind of champagne color almost um, and I don't know if you can tell but like the dome is starting to go away the parts where my son like stuck his fingers in when he was a kid well he's still a kid but when he was itty bitty um, are starting to kind of smooth out a bit so I have been getting a lot of use out of this I think I'm gonna keep this in here just because I don't really care about keeping it. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad at all. So I want to get as much use out of it as I can. And then I'll pick out some other ones to go with it. Um, all the lip products I have up here are going to be put away. Just because I can pick out some new ones and get some use out of them. This is the Becca Mirrored 3D Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Sparkle. It's super pretty, but it's going away. This is the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Balm Lip Gloss in the shade Glimmer. Again, beautiful, but let's pick out something new. And I have used all of these since putting them in here, so I don't feel bad about putting them away, really. This is the Hard Candy Glitterazzi press play so this is a liquid lip but when you like press your lips together little gold flecks show up which is pretty cool and then this is buxom white russian uh lipstick putting that away as well so i'm going to put this stuff away and then we're going to move on to my drawers just kidding because there's still stuff in here that i forgot about my brain is just not functioning to its fullest capacity right now. I have this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I'm going to be putting this away because I'm not using it right now. I was mixing it with the um, Neutrogena one, but it didn't really make it any better. It's just the Milani one is even drier than the Neutrogena one, and it's too it's a little too light for me. That's why I was mixing it, but... I'm just going to put it away. I'll find out a way to use it another time. Um, and then these two lip liners are going to be put away. This is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner in... Does it have a shade? It does not look like it has a shade, which is so great. Uh, and then there's the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the shade 15C. I think that's the shade that's all it says so both of these are going to be put away okay now i'm going to go to my drawers okay this is my blush drawer by the way um i've outgrown my drawers <laughs> so a few of them are looking very crazy uh 
this is my blush drawer and I really want to pull out some sorry if you can hear that I think that's the the washing machine going I want to pull out some older ones so I'm going to get this LA colors one in uh, the shade natural and that's what that one looks like I have used this one to death but it does not look like it like you can see like the bumps and stuff like the surface is not smooth anymore from me using it so much but like I just don't think that it really looks like I've used it as much as I have I'm gonna pull that one I think I'm gonna pull three blushes mm, I wish my blush drawer came out further but I'm gonna have to take it off the tracks to do that and I'm not dealing with that right now mm. Do I have any like berry, like berry shades? I don't think I do. Maybe um, this Milani baked blush in Berry Amour. I guess it's, it's in the name. So I think I'm gonna pull that one out. And one more. Let's see. I'm gonna pull this one. This is a Color Mates blush in Sunkissed Tan, and I'm not really sure. Let's see. The lighting in my room right now is horrendous, so it's really hard to see colors for what they truly are. But I think that this it's kind of like a Sunkissed Tan color, but it's really got more mauviness to it. So I'm going to pull this and get some use out of it. This is another one that's very old. Um, but so that's for blush, this <laughs> drawer, okay, this drawer looks insane, looks crazy. Um, I have face palettes in here. I have some like random highlights that don't fit in my highlight drawer anymore like this one. Oh my god that's beautiful oh my god that's so good but let's, I, I need to pull a bronzer so this is the one we just used um I would like if I could find like a more cool toned bronzer I think I'll pull this one. This one is brand new to me, but I really want to try it out. This is the Morphe Glam Glamour Bronze in Mastermind, and it's not really a cool tone like I was gonna originally be looking for, but I think it'll work. I don't want a bronzer that's too dark and I think this is now the lightest one I have or one of the lightest ones. So I think I'll use December to test this out. And I really only ever feel like I need to pull one bronzer at a time so um, I will pull that one. But also you know what? I have this Laura Geller Trio. That's like a cream blush bronzer and highlight I think I'm gonna pull this and try it out I've never actually used it on my face before and I probably should for highlight I don't even think I'm gonna bother opening my highlight drawer because I want to use this Aspen highlight palette from BH cosmetics and this just has all the highlights I could possibly need for winter and it's beautiful so I'm gonna pull this and I will use these in conjunction with the hard candy one that I pulled. I'm so excited. These highlights are so good. Okay. So there's that. We don't need to open this catastrophe. Like, 
we don't even need to go, we don't need to, no we're not going in there um for i don't need to pull any foundations i don't need a concealer uh for powder i have this one over here where's the camera okay this is the elf high definition powder um this is again very old and i really want to get it used up i think this is the oldest powder in my collection now and I just don't like it that much, and it's old, so I want to use it up. I can use it. I have to be pretty careful. It's very finicky, but um, if I'm careful, I can make it work. So that's going to be my powder. And again, I only ever really feel like I need to pull one powder at a time. So the fact that I have so many powders is just a little crazy, but I like trying out new things. So... I, you guys can't even see the drawer that I opened. Like, oh my god. That is the drawer I opened. This is the next drawer. Again, I don't really need anything out of here. I have my eye primers. Um, I've got this eyeshadow primer. This is by Elizabeth Mott. I actually don't like this eye, eye primer. It's way too sticky for me, personally. Um, if you like a very, if you like a sticky eye primer, this is a very sticky one, um, but it's too sticky for me personally. And then I have my NYX glitter primer, but I just keep those both in here and I grab them when I need them. Um, I mean, I guess I could pull them out. That would actually make more sense. So I'm not having to open my drawer every single time I do my makeup, but that would make sense. Okay. Now I need to do some shimmying around to get you guys down far enough. So give me a second. Okay, so I don't know if I filmed me picking out the lip glosses I'm going to use. Um, hopefully I did, and if I did, I'll cut this part out, but if I didn't, then I pulled these two. This is, is that Cobb Cab? I don't know. I pulled this one. It's in the shade Charming, and then I pulled this one from Wet n Wild in the shade 100% Lit. And then this drawer is my liquid lipsticks and my more like bullet lipstick type situations. I've got way too many lip products. <laughs> way too many. Um, let's see. I do want to pull some liquid lipsticks. I'm going to pull this one, this Ulta Beauty um, lip cream, matte lip cream, in the shade Bombshell. Also pull the one that I have in the shade tender and then I will pull this profusion soft matte lip cream in full moon and then do I maybe I should pull like a red lipstick maybe I'll get crazy for the holidays this is not really like a holiday red this is a very, I mean, I guess it could be, but it's really more like a kind of blood red. Mm, let's see what other reds I have. This one from Urban Decay. Oh, that might actually work better. It's more of a like blue based red. I think that one will be better for the season. So I'm going to pull this Urban Decay lipstick in Erasabeth. I don't know. But I'm going to pull that one. And it's that top color right there. So those are all of my lip products. Um, I'm going to, since I can reach them, I'll show them down here. I'm going to grab this Profusion... Um, glitter palette in aqua gems and the only eyeshadow palette that I'm pulling specifically is going to be the um, 
Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette. Because I definitely want to do some holiday looks with this. Um... Other than that, I'm not going to be pulling any eyeshadows because I have a whole bunch of eyeshadows up on top of my vanity um, eyeshadow palettes that um, like I have a whole lineup of ones that I want to use at least once and then put away and then I'm just going to be rotating because um, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'm definitely not getting enough use out of them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, so that is going to be it for my shop my stash. Maybe I'll go. Hmm, I might pull out some liquid shadows or um, super shock shadows as I go, but I'm not going to pick any right now. Um, if I do pick any, uh, I will show you guys in my next shop my stash. But uh, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, let's see, I kind of wanted to tell you guys about how I'm going to be doing this as like a shop my stash slash, uh, I don't know, what did, this is like a monthly makeup basket thing, I don't know, <laughs> um, kind of combined with Project Pan elements in the sense that if there's something that I want to use up, I'm just going to keep it in until it's used up and I'm not going to pull other things from that category, if that makes sense. I'm not going to be rotating 100% of everything. There are some categories where I know I want to use things up so that I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it's not another year before I post another video. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.